Measles cases across the country are now the greatest we've seen since the year 2000. And outbreaks are getting closer to Alabama as cases have hit Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida. Just three days ago, the Department of Public Health announced that someone with the measles passed through Fort Payne, potentially exposing others. Our Mary Stackhouse talked with a physician to find out how you can avoid getting infected. More than 680 measles cases have been reported in 22 states this year. That's the highest number on record since the disease was declared eliminated nationwide in 2000. Experts expect the number of cases to grow. We're going to see more and more of these cases. It's definitely all over um, neighboring states. Dr. Ali Hassoun is an infectious disease physician at Huntsville Hospital. If you come into contact with someone who has the measles, he says it's easy to become infected. And both children and adults can catch it. Now, it's going to need to be close contact. It's not something going to stay in the air and get transmitted. You're going to need to be present around that patient around the same time, basically, to get exposed. He says the virus wouldn't stay for more than two hours around that area. However, if someone becomes infected, a rash and fever would develop in a matter of several days. Most of us are vaccinated. Um, the chances for us to get that infection will be extremely low. But if you've never been vaccinated, Dr. Hassoun says to go ahead and do so. That goes for both children and adults. If you have been vaccinated, Dr. Hassoun says you should be safe. The immune response if you've been vaccinated will be really robust to fight this type of infection. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News. As a safety precaution, Dr. Hassoun recommends thorough hand washing, coughing into the elbow, and if your kids play outside, have them wash their hands when they come back in.